The Cardamom Mountains in southwest Cambodia supports the lives of over 3.5 million people. These mountains capture fresh water which flows downstream into rice fields and the Tonle Sap Lake, one of the most productive inland fisheries in the world. The Central Cardamom Mountains National Park lies within this mountain range. At 400,000 hectares, it is one of the largest protected forests in Southeast Asia. It is home to globally significant biodiversity, including over 54 endangered species, including clouded leopards, Siamese crocodiles, Asiatic black bears, palliated gibbons, and Asian elephants. Its rivers provide drinking water for more than 30,000 people living in and around the park. Further downstream, this freshwater supports rice and fish production, ensuring food security and livelihoods for millions of Cambodia's poorest people. The Cardamom Mountain Range is believed to be Cambodia's largest carbon asset. Within this, it is estimated that the Central Cardamom Mountains National Park alone sequesters over 358,000 metric tons of CO2, equivalent to removing more than 70,000 cars off the road each year. Overall, the annual value of the Cardamom Mountain Range is thought to be over 1 billion US dollars in terms of the goods and services it provides. While the management of this national park has ensured a much lower deforestation rate than the surrounding forests, the pressures of illegal logging and wildlife poaching, which plague all of Cambodia's forests, remain. Conservation International works directly with communities living in and around the park to improve their living conditions and engage them in forest conservation. We liaise with the community to form agreements that link improvements to their livelihoods to wildlife protection. We also support the government to enforce laws to protect this unique ecosystem by providing technical assistance to rangers who work to halt illegal logging, poaching, and wildlife trade. Our strategy is long-term. To ensure the conservation management endures, sustainable financing is essential. To make this happen, Conservation International has created a trust fund, the first of its kind in this nation's history. We must capitalize this fund to ensure this forest, its unique wildlife, and the people that depend upon it continue to thrive.